Malaysia bans Muslims from using FaceApp. So this is possibly my favorite, most hilarious news this week. <laughs> Malaysia has prohibited Muslims from altering a photo of one's face using the Face app called FaceApp. Face, tune, face swapping app called FaceApp. It's very popular online. I'm sure you've seen it. Quote, the use of FaceApp is akin to encouraging the tendency of changing God's creation, even though it is not done through physical means. Hence, prohibition is needed to curb the tendency to change God's creation through the Saad al zariya principle, which means blocking the means. End quote. The federal, territory, federal territory's Mufti office said in a statement posted on its website. The Mufti's office also added that the app's gender swapping feature may lead to confusion as to one's true identity, and that using the app to change the face to make it younger or older could also mislead people from the truth, adding that people can't predict what they will look like in the future, and they, they are not meant to know what the future holds. Okay, just a clarification from somebody who uh, from Malaysia who co uh, commented on this post. Uh, he's saying, I'm a Malaysian, and it's wrong to say that the country banned the app. It's just some guy trying to prove he's holier than thou or some shit like that. Nobody take these Phillies ser seriously here. Don't paint Malaysia as a whole. We are way cooler. But then somebody responded to, the, to that guy um, from Malaysia apparently as well, saying still... He has influence over many followers. The guy basically who's saying this has influenced many followers and he's supported by the government, correct? Oh no, the guy, the second guy is not a Malaysian. But then the Malaysian guy responds to that other guy saying, yes, that's true. He is a government appointed one too. Um, and apparently this is a white, uh, what he's saying is widespread and serious. Um, but so, so, so is the headline wrong? Is this not passed as law? This is just one religious uh, authoritarian who has ties with the government that is saying this, that is being taken seriously by some people, but not by other people, but it's not the law at all. Or is that, is the so title exaggerating? Okay, go ahead. The title is somewhat exaggerating. So my understanding is that this is not a law so much mm -hmm. as a religious leader who is endorsed by the government putting forth this prohibition. Okay, so who is but this? 60% is... of the population of Malaysia is Muslims. So if that, that prohibition could be taken up by a majority of the country, possibly. Okay, so if you don't like the title, that's not the title that we picked. Go talk to Citizens Journal for this, for their shitty title, which is a misrepresentation. Way, uh, I, I want to say, like, the face app, except for making uh, changing your hairstyle, like either shortening or elongating your hair, it does nothing which a basic makeover can't do. Oh, that's true. Like, it doesn't even change the structure of your face too much. It basically just... Uh, gives you a foundation, uh, shapes your eyebrows, and gives you long hair. Yeah. That's yeah, but I, I love this idea that, yeah, like, just seeing yourself as a joke, possibly, it swapped as another gender is, you know, this horrible thing to be completely avoided. When most people just do it out of curiosity. They're like, what would I look like as a woman? Let's go check it out. And then some people... Man do want to I, genuinely see themselves that way and that helps them move more towards imagining how they can transition in the future and so in that way i think it's pretty awesome um, i mean actually that's what i am using it <laughs> like yeah, i don't have good. long hair yet i mean you have seen my pictures <laughs> yeah you look cute as hell <laughs> so yeah and I, I have I, but mm. this is what i was wondering i have cross player friends from malaysia like cross player is like when the male uh, when men cosplay as female characters of uh, women cosplay as male characters, so I have cosplayer friends from Malaysia, and I never heard like Malaysia speaking out anything against them because they also like cross dress and completely do makeovers and wear wigs and stuff. So I never saw anyone speaking out against them, and uh, they say that they are. I mean, they do get opposition from family members and. Uh, relatives and stuff, but they never faced any legal consequences for that. So it's not very different from this. 
Mm-hmm. By the way, who are these idiots on our Facebook page who think that we pick the titles? Or, like we, we we post articles, and then the title is like they don't like the title and they think it's a misrepresentation, and they're like, "Oh, why are you saying this about this? This title is not right. You guys are misrepresenting my country and stuff like that." And like, you know, you can see that this is not the article that we wrote. Like you could like you could say like, "Oh, just, by the way, you could inform everybody and say like the title is." misrepresented but why are you blaming us for it we didn't come up with the title like i don't know like what do you gotta what do you want us to do you want us to like every article that we share with you guys to contact the editors of that news that that publication and be like guys fix this and you know yeah you guys and oftentimes you know. if it is misleading we share it so that we can talk about why it's misleading and educate right. on how to spot how it's misleading right so we we have a grand plan Okay. Yes. Yes, the best plan. Yes, yeah. uh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. By the way, I'm gonna. I, I'm scared of using this this swipe uh, with fa- face swap app. I might be too attracted to myself if I do that. You know, I yeah, you're just know. gonna do it when I you mean, got a strong beard. Are. Warning what? for you. Some people are. Some people got attracted to themselves. I mean, like, Way wow, too much. I know. I would be. I would do myself so hard. But anyways, let's go to the news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not. Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like. No, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.